I'm Leslie Dooling McCollum. I'm a program coordinator with Ramsey Washington Recycling and Energy. At the r &E Center in Newport, Minnesota, we do our best to pull out whatever materials are recyclable from that trash, but there's still a lot of stuff coming in, including mattresses, that it's really problematic and difficult to process. And so we have machinery that helps separate them out from the other trash, and then they are put through a mattress shredder, which helps take out recyclable metals, but that's only a really small portion of what is recyclable in other places. So Second Chance has really helped us be able to take out a much larger quantity of recyclable material and get it repurposed into other items. And it also keeps more waste out of the landfill. I am Kenrick Shell. I am the Operations Manager at Second Chance Recycling. We go through uh, probably 70,000 mattresses a year. We can go up between 150,000. I'm Sean Dolan and I'm the general manager at Second Chance. Everything that we do, it doesn't hit a landfill. The metal, the wood, the foam, basically 96% of that mattress disappears and doesn't hit a landfill. Throughout the entire metro area, we have a, a large fleet that are on the road all day long collecting mattresses, sometimes out of ditches and sometimes uh, scheduled with different residences. They arrive, they're sorted by item, box, spring versus mattress. They're then separated by size. Then we begin the recycling process. They'll get on the cutting floor, and then what they'll do is they'll cut the pillow top off, which is the floor to sleep on. Then we take the pillow top off, we have the foam off, and you take the metal over to the dismantler for it to be wrapped up. The metal goes into a machine. Uh, you can line up like eight or nine of them together. There's a big ball that's about 1,000 pounds. Rolls the, uh, the metal, and it becomes out about a 250-pound, 300-pound bale. And then we have machines that the foam goes into. It's a big compressor. Presses the foam, and the bales are between probably 900 to 1,200 pounds. The most probably valuable component that we recycle is the metal. It's pulled from the springs and the box springs of the mattresses, it goes to a metal refinery. They melt it down and it goes into obviously many, many different components. The wood goes through um, some of our partners and ends up as landscape mulch or pet bedding. Well, the foam oftentimes ends up in Georgia and it's a padding under carpeting. Working with Second Chance has really helped us be able to recycle more. And we love seeing the really positive impacts that Second Chance has on the employees that they work with as well. Second Chance Recycling it really has a dual name, a dual purpose too. It's uh, providing second chances for materials and we want to provide second chance opportunities for individuals that are transitioning from incarceration and reintegrating into society. We do that through uh, not only employment within our business, but we provide a variety of services to them as well. We have a plethora of uh, programs that we can offer, such as digital literacy, job club, manufacturing training, construction training, forklift training, and on and on. We have to teach them all of the work advocates they need prior to leaving. So when someone leaves here, that they are ready to go to work. People that have been in incarceration before are the staff members here. And people that we employ can see right before their eyes somebody who has been successful in reintegrating in community. It's inspiring to them and uh, provides hope. Being here at Second Chance, recycling old mattresses, I mean, whoever would thought that that would be a business, but it's a business. And the business comes from giving other individuals, like these individuals you see on this floor, a chance to build a foundation, to stabilize themselves. For me, I got a second chance of a life. I got a second chance to, to get it right, uh, to do the right thing, and it's hard at times, um, but uh, wouldn't trade it for the world. <laughs>